What's going on everybody? This is Living in Arizona now and today we're going to explore West Phoenix. We're going to go look at some petroglyphs, go around the towns of Peoria and Glendale, get some lunch, show you guys around. So stay tuned. So we're out here in Deer Valley at the airport. This is Deer Valley Airport. Believe it or not, this is one of the busiest airports in all the world in terms of aircraft movement coming in and out with all the small craft, the helicopters and whatnot. So that's a pretty big feat. small craft aircraft, the uh, Learjets, propeller aircraft, and then over here is the helicopter turning and burning with the air traffic controller tower right over there. So this observation deck is on top of the uh, restaurant. A good place to bring kids if they have an interest in aviation, getting them started early, coming them, bring them up here to the uh, observation deck. And by the way, guys, if this is your first time to living in Arizona, you can hit that subscribe button, hit the likes if you guys enjoy videos like this. Also letting us know if you want more videos exploring sides of Phoenix, sides of Tucson, uh, more in a general sense, like West Phoenix, North Phoenix, South Phoenix, uh, Southeast Phoenix, North Tucson, etc. So let us know about that and uh, let's keep this tour moving. kind of uh, open space, not too overly populated, but very arid and dry, and in the summertime, you feel the heat right here on the west side of Phoenix for sure. This is 35th Avenue and Deer Valley Road. All right, now we're arriving at the Deer Valley Petroglyph Preserve here. You can see up in these lava rock kind of mountains first time here actually for myself so we'll see and you can see we're here at the phoenix point of pride deer valley petroglyph preserve so there's about 19 of these across phoenix this is one of them just so you know the uh, deer valley petroglyph preserve does close at 12 12 30 p.m in the afternoon uh no animals allowed and there is an admission fee but you can see Deer Valley Petroglyph Preserve Center of Archaeology and Society. Yeah, so this facility is actually really nice. It's better than I uh, anticipated. I mean, it's a pretty nice museum, actually. But look at this. These are monos and matates, which they use to ground down corn and beans. So you can see the powder. That's mice. How they make those tortillas, but that's a matate and a mono is the grinding stone. Yeah, so here you can see right here is a uh, petroglyph. You'll notice the circle design is what they commonly were doing right here. I don't know exactly what that means, but I've seen the circle spires quite a few times. Oh yeah, guys, welcome to Arizona's desert, rattlesnake habitat. Little lizard right there, but you see those uh, green and red patches? That's lichen. That's like a fungus that grows on the rocks, uh, just naturally right there on the volcano rocks. So if you look right there, even though it's really bright right now, we're at high noon, you can see the two kissing deer. Uh, obviously, this is called Deer Valley, so you could see that they had deer probably in abundance here. Look at all those petroglyphs on that stone face. So only if these hills could talk, right? Uh, you can see there's insects, animals, plants, plenty of different scriptures on this hill here. And the nomadic peoples that came here, they might have put them here. Or even the people that lived right here in the Puebla area, the town, the village, along the Skunk River here. 
They say these are 3,000 years BC, some of these scriptures. Here you have the Foothill Skate Park, and right next to there is a major Honeywell facility. For those of you who like to work in IT, if you look just right over there, you'll see Honeywell. But yeah, guys, if you guys are thinking about coming out to Peoria or Northwest Phoenix, this is what the neighborhoods look like for the most part. This area here is called Highland, and you can see around here they've got lakes and lots of vegetation, established trees and whatnot. This area here is called Arrowhead Ranch, and you can tell it's got a lot of established vegetation, so it's at least a couple decades old out here. It's kind of got that Sun City vibe, you can tell, because there's a lot of golf courses, and it has a little bit of a retirement, but also uh, lots of young families raising their kids here. Yeah, so here we are at Arrowhead Mall. You can see I'm outside the Macy's. We're gonna go in here and uh, show you guys around this mall, and then we'll uh, show you guys around the rest of this area of Glendale. This is North Glendale, and then we go that way. That's Peoria. Yeah, so you can see this is a really popular mall out here in West Phoenix, out here in Arrowhead. There they got the uh, food court, AMC theaters, the amphitheater, transit center. Pretty cool place. Yeah, so we're outside the Peoria Sports Complex. This is where the San Diego Padres and the Seattle Mariners play spring training baseball. It's actually late March. Uh, I think spring training ends about this time of the year. It might already be over, but really cool for the whole month of March, spring training baseball in the Phoenix area. So you can see here we've got the Sarah Gaucha Brazilian Steakhouse. Right over here I've got my choice of P.F. Chang or even the Cheesecake Factory right down there. But I think we're going to start with Sarah Gaucha, just see if they're open right now for lunch. Oh, and I almost forgot, Famous Dave's. There's many areas around the Arrowhead Sports Complex area and Arrowhead Mall. With lots of restaurants, Olive Garden, you name it. This little area right here, I'm just showing you right here. Yeah, so when you come out here to the uh, Brazilian Steakhouse, they do a uh, salad bar first, and then they bring out the meats and some breads. Uh, look at all this uh, selection here. This is a uh, very medium rare, I believe. Lamb. So this is lamb, has a gamey taste though, if you're into that kind of thing. When you guys come to a Brazilian steakhouse, you'll definitely want to get some chimichurri here.
You know, so as we're going around Peoria here, or this northwest part of Phoenix, I think a lot of you guys right now here in 2021 might actually want to consider this area because it's more affordable and it's actually pretty nice. So you, if, you, if you're looking at uh, bang for your buck, I think Peoria has it. So add that to your list of places to research. So here we are at State Farm Stadium right here. We also call it the Big Toaster. Uh, Red Sea Rise Up, this is where the Cardinals play. Uh, you also can get some uh, Fiesta Bowl games in here, uh, maybe some monster truck rallies, who knows, whatever kind of events are going on there. Right now they're doing vaccines, believe it or not. Uh, but this is the uh, State Farm Stadium. I call it the Big Toaster. And as you can see behind me is Gila River Arena. That's where the actual uh, Phoenix Coyotes, Arizona Coyotes, whatever you want to call them, the hockey team plays in this whole area right here known as Westgate. That's why when we have the Super Bowl here, which we're going to be having in the next couple of years, people love to come to Glendale or out here to Arizona and play the Super Bowl because we got Westgate right next door makes for a really good experience for the Super Bowl. All right, so now we're gonna go into Westgate, just show you guys around Westgate here about three o'clock in the afternoon on a Wednesday. Uh, obviously at night, this place gets really happening, but let's go take a look. really want to say this if there was ever a hotel circle or a hotel zone out here in the phoenix metro area it's got to be down here in glendale near the stadium i mean they've got Staybridge suites holiday inn residence inn i mean there's so many different hotels down here i'm right out here in front of the cabela's this really cool outdoor shop you guys probably already know about it we're gonna go inside let's take a look you guys know me i you know i like to go off road check out this tracker off road this thing's got a truck bed Sturdy as heck, man. Got even a boom box in there for a stereo system or what? Off-roading. How much is it? Sixteen thousand. I could, I could swing that. Or for those of you more relaxed, low-profile kind of people, look at this golf cart right here. How much is it? Seventy-six hundred dollars. You could cruise this around your neighborhood. equipment from Cabela's here. I got some uh, summer outdoor apparel. Yeah, so now we're on Lake Pleasant Parkway. We're headed up towards Lake Pleasant. This is North Peoria. A lot of the homes out here, these subdivisions, they're all kind of uh, the cookie cutter homes really a nice place to be if you like uh, jogging, biking, outdoor activities, but don't expect too much in terms of uh, entertainment out here. This is very rural, suburban feel out here in North Peoria. Yeah, 
out here in North Peoria, I mean, they got neighborhoods in these foothills all across North Peoria on Lake Pleasant Parkway. Uh, basically between uh, 101, the Loop 101 and Lake Pleasant, homes looking just like this out here, real nice communities. Yeah, I'm going to say it right now, Peoria might actually be Phoenix Metro's hidden gem that not too many people are talking about, but definitely deserves to be among the conversation of best suburbs in all of Phoenix Metro. And that's no joke. If you're wondering where exactly we are, we're basically on Lake Pleasant Road and Joe Max, Pinnacle Vista, that area right there. And here's the uh, 303 freeway system right here, so. Here we are arriving at the uh, Lake Pleasant Harbor here. You'll notice there's a lot of boats and RVs off to the left. If you are coming out here, it is $7 uh, for your vehicle. Plus, if you're bringing anything else, they're gonna charge you for that. Even if you're coming up here for 30 minutes, you still have to pay the $7. mind dry camping you can do that up here on this beautiful vista point overlooking Lake Pleasant well I would have to say if Arizona had a beach it would look like this as you can see out here at the Lake Pleasant Reservoir, one of many lakes around Phoenix, but look at Lake Pleasant right here. And since I've piqued your interest about an Arizona beach, might as well take you down here to the water, and show you guys what it looks like down here. So that's going to conclude Northwest Phoenix, West Phoenix. Showed you guys around a lot of places, not everywhere. We didn't go out to the White Tanks. We didn't go out to Verado in the southeast uh, side of Phoenix. We didn't even go out to Tonopah. Didn't really check out Sun City. But what you saw right there was a pretty good idea of what you can get out here in West Phoenix. So thanks to everyone who watches these videos and subscribes. And thanks to all the new subscribers. Push the like button if you guys enjoyed this video and watch some of our other videos. We'll see you on the next one.